in this video. We're going to look at problem number eight on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at idomath.weebly.com. Number eight, it involves a lot of fractions, a lot of mixed numbers, and we want to do the order of operations with them. What I would do first of all is I'm going to go ahead and bring down the three eighths minus two fifths plus, and I'm going to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, so we have plus 7 fourths. And then uh, let's uh, bring this on down to times 7 fifths. Now, using the order of operations, we are supposed to multiply before we do any addition or subtraction. So let's go ahead and multiply these two fractions together. I'm going to bring down the 3 eighths minus 2 fifths. And now we're going to have plus, when you multiply fractions, top times top, that's going to be 49. Bottom times bottom, 4 times 5 gives us 20. So make sure you multiply first there. And now what we have left to do is a problem where we need to subtract first and then add. Now with PEMDAS, the addition and subtraction is done from left to right, whichever one comes first. So if we look from left to right, the subtraction comes first. Let's take care of that. And then when we get this difference, we'll add on this fraction. Now what I'm going to do in this problem though, is I'm going to go ahead and get a common denominator for all of these pieces. And it turns out that's going to be 40. 40 is the first number that eight will go into. 5 will go into and 20 will go into. So let's go ahead and get a common denominator for all three of these fractions. So going through each one of these individually, 8 times 5 will give us 40. So 3 times 5 is going to give us 15. Therefore, 3 eighths is the same thing as 15 over 40. 5 times 8 gives you 40. 2 times 8 is going to give you 16. Therefore, 2 fifths is the same thing as 16 over 40. Last but not least, 20 times 2 gives us 40. 49 times 2 gives us 98. From here, we want to subtract and then we will add. 15 minus 16 is negative 1. If we go ahead and take that negative 1 and we add 98 to it, we're going to get 97 over 40. We leave that common denominator alone. Now, this is an improper fraction. Our directions say to leave your answer as a mixed number. Therefore, we can perform some long division to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. The way I remember my long division is we take the inside divided by the outside. So let's put the 40 on the outside. 40 will go into 97 two times because two times 40 is going to give you 80. We cannot go three times because we would be past 97. Let's find the difference here. Subtracting these, we get a remainder of 17. Therefore, we said 40 goes into 97 two whole times with a remainder of 17 and we put this over 40. This is going to be our mixed number that's the same thing as this improper fraction. And you can always check your work by converting this back to an improper fraction to verify that this matches this improper fraction here. 40 times 2 is 80. 80 plus 17 is 97. Boom, over 40. And there you have it, a problem involving a lot of fractions with addition, subtraction, and some multiplication, as well as converting between mixed numbers and improper fractions. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.